Bang! Needs Knives, I'm Jared, and we have about six new knives to check out for the first time. This is an x tau knife. Now, I wanted to make sure that they were using the steel that they advertised, so I went searching on Love Them Knives channel, and I did find three different test results from x tau One was 14C, one was D2, and one was M390, just like this. Now, the 14C came out really good. It was 14C, and I think it came out at 58, 59 HRC. The D2 was D2. Um, I forget the HRC, but I remember it was fine. I think it was 60, something like that, but, but it was D2. And then the M390. The M390, yes, came back as M390 steel. Very happy to see that. And it was actually at 60.8 HRC, so almost 61 HRC. Not too shabby considering, you know, the company and everything. So I'm not mad at that. You know, we see a lot worse from, from a lot more premium companies. Anyways, we have a harpooned M390 blade in this beautiful frag titanium frame lock. Um, I like how they have the flat spots on the top and the bottom, you know, the separation with the frag. It looks really cool. You can see it's a reversible uh, clip that has a window there. T8 there, but does have a T6 on the window. So everywhere else is T8s except for this little window. Um, it does have a titanium mill pocket clip and the 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 hidden lanyard pin is actually a piece of titanium, which is actually pretty cool instead of just like a steel post. Um, now, the action, man. Th this thing has shockingly good action. And I mean shockingly good as in detent-wise. The detent is crispy, like super crispy. I was not expecting it. Like as soon as I opened it up, it was like, I was shocked. The, uh, it almost felt like it was assisted or something because it has a nice heavy detent. It, you can't You can't fail it. Yeah, you can't fail this. That The detent's just too heavy, it's too crispy. You can hear it. Now I can feel that the, the lock bar strength does have some decent pressure to it. So you know it's not the most free falling, but it's brand new, it's just breaking in. So I'm gonna call that, that really good. Then you have the front flipping action. Now, because the detent is on the stronger side, you know, it is stronger. So, you know, it's not gonna be the, the most smoothest um, front flipping action, but you can easily do it and it does work. And if you like a stout detent with a front flipper, then you'll probably like it just fine. So, you know, I just wanna be clear, the, the front flipping action works great. It just, it's on the stronger side for the detent. So the jimping's well done, nice, it has nice traction. I always prefer the jimping to go up and around. Not that this one's bad, but, because it is nice and sharp, but if it goes up and around, it just feels a little bit better. Um, I wish this one was just a slight bit taller just because of the strength. It's not bad, but you know, if it was just a slight bit taller, I think the um, the front flipping action, would, you'd have just a little bit more leverage for it. Uh, but all in all, man, it's it, fantastic action. Um, it does have an over travel stop, as you can see right there on the inside, which is pretty cool. I like how they did that. Um, lockup is nice and strong. I have checked it, it's very, very solid. Access to the lock bar, they did give you a little chamfer on this edge. And, you know, this could be pulled back just a little bit, but it's not uncomfortable. It's easy to disengage. You can hear the lockup too. Nice strong lockup. The titanium mill pocket clip works great going in the pocket. However, coming out of the pocket, you can kind of catch on this edge right there. Um, you know, it, it's not horrible. Um, I wouldn't call it bad, but you know, it could be improved by moving that cutout to the inside. So, you know, it's a decent clip. It's not bad, but it could be better. Um, on this side, it'll probably, probably be fine or awesome because there's no, um, cutout for the lock bar. So the, um, the clip does have a spot for a piece of tritium too, which is pretty cool. So all in all, I'm actually very impressed with this knife. I was not I did not think I would like this as much as I do. Um, I think they did a fantastic job all the way around for the most part. Um, and these aren't super expensive considering the materials and everything. And um, the one thing I thought it was gonna be is I thought it was just gonna have premium materials but still feel like a budget knife. And, and this definitely has a little bit more of a premium feel to it. This knife can also do tricks like a dog. Watch, it'll roll over on its back. <laughs> Roll over. <laughs> I can get it to stay upright. 
but I can also just, if I just set it down, it'll roll over <laughs> with premium materials. Um, very premium actually. Anyways, um, the, the plunge grind could be better. That's the one, my one negative. I wish the plunge grind was better. I wish the cutout for the lock bar was on the inside. And you know, the front flipper could be a little bit taller. Um, all very small nitpicks, nothing saying that, that it's bad in any way, shape or form. Um, and I'm very happy that they're steel tested out good. The next knife is from Lothar. Never tried this company. I did not check the, the steel. Um, they are saying this is D2. I'm pretty, you know, it probably is. Um, but, you know, you can go and check that out probably on LTK's channel. I'm not sure if he has tests on these or not, but he probably does. Again, crispy detent. Listen to it. You can hear it like click, click. Very nice. Happy with that detent. And then you have this window that works great for the thumb or the reverse flick, like equally as good. It has a nice sharp edge to it, so it actually catches you back. So yeah, the action for the reverse flick and the flipper tab is really good. Um, nice snappy detent. It feels like the detent, listen on the close, it sounds soft, but then when you open it, it pops. So, it's a lot heavier on the open than it is on the close, which is interesting to me. Um, the clip is not deep carry. It, you know, it, it's a, it's fine. These clips tend to work really good. And the beautiful thing is, is because it gets to narrow, gets narrow from thicker to narrow. If it had a deep carry clip, I guarantee this would be uncomfortable in the hand because it is the type of clip it is. It's very comfortable in the hand. You can totally use this for utility cuts, slicing, you turn around and cut straps. It's obviously going to be precision oriented with the this Warncliffe blade, beautiful example of a Warncliffe too. Um, good access to the lock bar, pretty smooth on the drop. Centering could be a little bit better, but I could probably adjust it. Um, the, uh, oh yeah, also this is not real carbon fiber. This is a carbon fiber thin layer over G10. So that's my biggest negative. I wish this was just G10 or pure carbon fiber. Pick one, don't do the sticker thing over. Uh, it's real carbon fiber, uh, just a thin, thin layer of it over the top of G10, at least to my knowledge. Um, I prefer just give me solid G10 or solid carbon fiber um, because this looks cheap to me. Um, anybody who knows knives, this kind of stands out as a budget knife. Not saying that a budget knife is bad, but you know, you can really see it from a mile away that this is a budget knife um, because of that reason. Um, the, the next complaint would be the plunge grind. This is a bad example. This will absolutely create a smile. You can see they already have an issue from the factory. So you can see how it's already pushing down right here because it's thicker. So when you sharpen it, it's just going to get worse and worse. Is it that big of a deal? Maybe not on a knife this price because it, you know, it's a very affordable knife. Everything will be linked down in the description for you guys to check out. If you guys want to see the prices and everything else. Next is... The mini nightshade from Vosteed in carbon fiber, beautiful carbon fiber, semi-contoured, love the blue aluminum accents. It just looks really good. Um, this is a mini, so this is a smaller version just to show you the difference in the size. Here's a full size one. Now there are so many different options for the nightshade. Um, we'll also check this one out here in a second, but there's so many different versions from different actions, different deployments. You can get flipper, you can get thumb stud, you can get hole deployment lots of options and then obviously a mini now now really quick this is the micarta uh, on these ones this is a polished micarta you could do this on a buffing wheel with your micarta if you really want to uh, dress it up a little bit it makes your micarta look so so good anyways so um the mini nightshade man awesome action it does have a crossbar lock so it's going to be nice and strong very fidgety it has a nice sound too Not sure if it's coming over the mic. Um, the blade steel's S35VN. Geometry is really, really good. Uh, crowned spine, beautiful crowned spine. And the reason why I yell and scream about this knife so much and, be, and why it's so awesome is because of the blade shape. It is, it basically acts like a, like a, um, 
kind of like a Warncliffe recurve all in one. It has this downward facing leaf shaped tip. So utility cuts and everything you aim at this thing. I mean, you can outline things. You can go sideways, you can go forward everywhere you, you aim at with this tip, it will cut, which is really awesome. Then when you're slicing, because it cants down, you can actually trap materials. Even in the reverse grip, you'll trap the rope so it doesn't slip up and around the blade. That's awesome. So as far as use goes, these things work with you, not against you. And you really feel the difference when you, when you use a knife that, that actually uh, works well for the things you are doing. And this is just a design that happens to work well with almost everything. Uh, fantastic knife design. Um, and yeah, like I said, there's so many different versions of it. This is super lightweight, man. That is one thing I can feel right away. Very lightweight, great size for the, for people that like a smaller knife. And then if you like the bigger ones, you can always go with the bigger option. Um, so yeah, and basically any deployment you want. So definitely check them out. Everything will be linked down in the description. Also, really quick, while we're talking about Vosteed, we have more knives to get to, but they do have the new Sheep's Foot Raccoon now instead of the Spear Point. You can get the Spear Point in um, crossbar lock or button lock action in 14C 28M blade steel. Beautiful, beautiful blade shape. Now the sheep's foot blades obviously gonna be a little bit more useful for some things. They're both really good though. They're both very versatile blade shapes. So if you didn't know about it, there you go. They do have the new raccoon with a sheep's foot blade. Again, I will have everything linked down in the description. Let's check out the next one. The next one is actually two and it's from Monthly Knife Club. If you don't know, Monthly Knife Club is a subscription that you can get to get random knives delivered to your house every month. And that way it's kind of a surprise to you. You don't know what's coming, but there's different tiers. So, you know, depending on the type or the quality or the, the you know, the expense of the knife, you can choose what, you know, what tier you want to be involved in. You can also gift these to people. So if you want to do something nice for somebody, you can gift them um, a monthly knife club subscription. Now we're going to check out two different tiers right now, but there's also more tiers than this. We have tier two and then the Onyx club for tier two. This one is a honey badger. Now, going into honey badger really quick, just in case if you don't know, honey badger has so many different knife shapes or blade shapes. So they basically have the same platform in small, medium, and large. Then with basically every blade shape you could imagine, and they have choilless, they have sharpening choil, finger choil, they have everything. And that's awesome. And I wish I would have put this in the video where I did beater knives, uh, because I do think that this is a great example of a beater knife. It's a knife that where you can basically choose exactly what you want. They also sell some with G10 now. Now this one's a limited edition one um, that has, uh, it's the choilless version in D2 choilless drop point. <clears throat> I'm not sure why that that's very, um, special, but you know, it is, um, I personally prefer a choil, but these are normally around 80 bucks for this exact one. Yeah. I think it's a little bit pricey for D2 and FRN, but they do have a lot of different versions and a lot of different price tags, but you're getting it for only 55 bucks. So you're saving money and getting really an awesome knife. These are really good. The action fantastic. This was a time when the, when these first originally came out, this was like surprisingly good action because of this whole deployment. It's so easy to thumb flick or reverse flick. This is a great one to learn on if you don't know how to reverse flick. And then you also have the flipper tab. Ergonomics are really good. The clip works great. It's also reversible, good access to the lock bar. And like I said, tons of blade shapes, so many different designs from this company uh, with this same platform and different sizes. So um, check them out. I will link them down in the description if you want to check out some of their knives, but check out Monthly Knife Club that I will also link down there so you can maybe give somebody a subscription or get yourself one. Now for the Onyx, we have the Tuya Nads Big Belly V2. Now I do have the, the original one, which is in carbon fiber, and these are integrals. This one's a G10 one, this one's a carbon fiber one, but this is a quite, it's quite a bit more expensive than this one because it's M390. 
This one, however, you have 154 CM blade steel, and it has this big belly, almost, I, I guess you'd call it a harpoon, but drop point blade, and then it is an integral. And I personally, I, I don't know if I've ever seen G10 like this. It almost looks like wood grain. I freaking love it. I don't know why we don't see side cut uh, G10. Maybe we do and I just don't know about it, but it looks really, really cool. You can actually see the fibers almost like it is carbon fiber or like it's wood grain. Titanium mill pocket clip, fantastic thumb stud action, a very strong crossbar lock. And you can feel the detent with these. They do have a nice strong, especially for a crossbar lock, because usually crossbar locks in many cases don't have strong detents. This is really good. Um, the, the crossbar lock does stick out quite a bit, so it's easy to get to. It is riding on ceramic caged bearings, so it's very smooth and extremely ergonomic. These are hand melting good as far as ergonomics goes. I feel the clip maybe a tiny bit, but just the shape, the thickness, the width, everything, it works perfect, I think, in most people's hands. So, like I said, if you wanna get this, you can get it for only $120 for an integral, a G10 integral. By the way, these, this is how you get into it if you want to uh, change your, your Omega Springs or anything like that, or do whatever, you know, it does have the windows because like I said, it is an integral. So this is one solid piece with everything machined out of one piece. Um, decent sized stop pin. The lockup is rock solid, by the way, um, even on my other one. But instead of spending 160 bones, you can get it for 120. Yeah, 160 bucks for, um, for, M for 154 CM is not the best deal. But like I said, it does have a titanium clip and it is an integral. So, you know, th that does take uh, quite a bit to do. But for 120 bucks, not too shabby. That's like the price of a little bit more than a drop bear. So pretty awesome. Um, very, very cool. So check those links out down in the description. Let's get to the next one. The next one is actually from Spiderco. And it is a, where the hell is it? <laughs> it is from Blade Ops. So Blade Ops just got these in today. These are the Emerson Spiderco PM2s. So we have a Wave featured drop point, or almost a spear point. I'm gonna call it a spear point. We have a wave featured spear point blade. You can see I've been using it, got some gunk on it with the compression lock gray G10, large hardware all the way around, just like all PM2s have, reversible and you can you can put the clip in any direction and any side you want. Then um, of course it has like the best reverse flicking action. It is a PM2, you know, the Spidey flick came from Spyderco's. Uh, but this blade, let's talk about this blade because not only does it have the wave, but it also, it has, well, it's an LMAX. That's another thing. LMAX steel, should have said that right off the bat. Uh, but this blade has thick geometry. So is that good? Possibly, because depending on what you use your knives for, this is going to be stout. This is not gonna be like a regular PM2 where you're worried about breaking your tip or anything like that. You're not breaking the tip on this. Another thing is that it's made for puncturing, you know, to be able to withstand puncturing into things. And it has a very pokey pokey tip, but it's nice and stout, so it opens things up. And then, you know, yes, it can still slice just fine. You can still cut and do use it as an EDC knife. And that's kind of the beauty of it because it's an EDC knife that also acts as a self-defense knife or a tactical knife. The compression lock is a very strong locking system. So, you know, it, you're gonna have strength there. You're not gonna have to worry about it failing on you if you do have to use it in that type of situation. Yet, yeah, it's very fidgety. You know, nice fun uh, deployment. And it is on washers. So these are very tough work knives. And when you get it with this type of blade shape, um, far tougher. So I would say the, the regular um, the regular version has a, a slicey, very utilitarian blade shape that that is not tough. You know, it does have the potential to break and chip and things like that because it's, it's thin. This is the exact opposite. This is tough, stout, and... Um, yeah, 
and could probably be, you know, somewhat hard used, if not just absolutely hard used. Um, so yeah, definitely check that out. Blade Ops. And check out everything else from Blade Ops. Blade Ops has a lot of stuff. Um, so I will have their store linked down there in the description along with that model if you want to just go directly to it. Now the next one, actually, I featured on the channel once before, but I did not realize, as like an idiot, that it actually has glowing scales. Now, if you do want to get the one that glows, make sure you get the one with the black carbon fiber. It's called Matter Glow. It's called the Carbon Fiber Dark Matter Glow Handle. That's the one you want. This one does not glow. It kind of looks like it does, but it doesn't. It kind of just reflects back at you, but it doesn't have any of the glow effect. And this one is the Matter Green Handle. So the Carbon Fiber Dark Matter Green. So... Um, check out this one if you want to make sure it glows. It's an M390 blade made in Italy. So this is an Italian knife. It's called the Lion Steel M4. The ergonomics, everything about this is, is stout and bushcraft. Like I can just, I feel like I could um, survive with this thing. Not only does it seem like it'll do, do good with batoning and things like that, you can strike fires back here because people are like, man, why does it have a crown spine if it's, you know, a camping knife? Well, you got the fire striker back here. Very sharp, as you can see. Um, so you can strike fires back there. The leather sheath is really good quality, um, like super good quality. Nice, thick, full grain leather, beautiful double stitching. Yeah, th these are uh, very well made sheaths. And then the blade is like I said, M390, but which is not a tough steel. Um, I imagine they're running it a little bit on the softer side in order to increase the toughness, but it also has thicker geometry. So it's not so thick to where it's not gonna slice. It's actually gonna do everything you could, everything you're gonna wanna use it for and excel, but it's gonna be heavy duty enough to where you're, you're gonna be able to be tougher on it. You can baton with it. You can do things with it without worrying about it breaking. It is full tank construction and the ergonomics are just, this is perfect ergonomics. You know, you can see it kind of swells up right here. Um, it's perfect ergonomics. This is so, 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 so comfortable in the hand, no matter what direction you're gonna use it. Um, so the Lion Steel M4. By the way, this did come from Caviso. Caviso has a ton of knives, a ton of everything. Check the link out down in the description for Caviso. I'll link these, I'll try to link these directly, but I'll also put their entire store down there so you can check out some of the things that they have. They do have a lot of things and they even have some exclusives and things like that that are only at Caviso. So check them out down in the description. Work hard, stay tough. Until next time, peace.